My name is Gabe Feenan. I'm from Vallejo, California. I've been living up here in Seattle for the last eight years, and I've been a gaffer here at the Museum of Glass for the last eight years as well. People always ask, like, you know, what inspires you? And I really think it's just the way I live my life. And, you know, I wouldn't be blowing glass if I didn't put myself out there. It's not like I said, I'm going to be a glass blower when I grow up. I put myself out there and I just happened to move in to a, actually a school bus across the street from a glass studio and I got a job there shortly thereafter and the rest is history, I guess. Yeah, it all happened here. Vallejo, V-Town, California. I think my inspiration in glass is I want to have fun with the material. I want to have fun working with my friends. Um, all these people that are working with me on the floor, not only are they my coworkers, but they're my friends. Um, so I think I take my inspiration from the material itself. You know, I like to, I want to have fun with it and I want to move with it. I don't want it to be static. I want, to, I want it to, to be fun and lively. What I'm going to be starting off the week with, I'm going to make these uh, pieces that are inspired by explosives. I call these jumping jacks. Uh, jumping jacks are a firecracker that you throw and it, it spins around, and makes a bunch of colors and noise. So you light this thing, you throw it, and it goes woo, woo, it spins around on the ground. So that's, you know, I'm trying to give these a little bit more motion. I'm trying to capture the, that motion that you would get maybe from a jumping jack. So I'm gonna to try to push the scale a little bit on these pieces this week, and uh, probably do that for the first three days. Torch the funny. That's good, Manny. Flip. I usually make these at least in pairs, um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to make a couple pairs of those. I just wanna see how this looks next to it. Yeah, cool. Nope. I'm gonna work on some pieces that are inspired by my Filipino heritage. I'm half Filipino. Kind of funny, I always make these jokes. I was born on the back of a water buffalo. Basically, I'm just saying I like to work hard and um, I appreciate the beast of burden. I'm gonna have actually Ben and a team recreate a cylinder that's gonna have the drawing of the water buffalo imagery. And I'm gonna open that up into a panel and then I would like to display that with a kind of a stylized water buffalo head, probably monochromatic. And that's what we're gonna be working on on Sunday. My mom's gonna be here on Sunday and she's gonna cook up some Filipino food for us. So it'll get everybody in that right frame of mind. All American food. How about a 12 piece, I guess uh, four or five years ago, I made some objects that were uh, I guess inspired by the Colonel. Um, made some fried chicken buckets, uh, a couple goblets. So I want to kind of revisit that because I really didn't elaborate on it. So I also I have these decals that a good friend of mine, Amy Rufert, gave me. They're of the Colonel. So basically what I want to do is create these goblets. The top will be like in the shape of the, the 12 piece bucket, red and white stripes. The stem will be a delicious piece of golden fried chicken and uh, the foot will be white and in the bottom of the cup what I want to do is put this image of the kernel so if you were to drink out of this before you take a sip you're gonna see that. Is really finger licking. Good chicken. There's only right. one Kentucky Fried Chicken Always cooked fresh with Colonel Sanders' original secret recipe of 11 different herbs and spices. Dinner's ready when you are. Colonel Sanders, boys and girls, make it ready. Might be a cook a little chicken. Oh. Finger looking good. As a gaffer here, I've helped people make, you know, countless objects. And, uh, you know, with the help of, you know, Ben and Alex and Sarah and other, other folks. So to have this opportunity to make my own work, um, 
with the same folks, with this, the crew that I'm comfortable with in the shop that I'm comfortable with is just, it's huge. It's something I wanted to do and I wouldn't do it unless I had this opportunity.